Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with Borium Junk Journals. I am here this morning to do some art before breakfast with you. Um, so I am currently in um, a swap on Junk Journals Craft Some More, um, in which it, it's called the Scavenger Hunt Swap. You guys have probably seen my Scavenger Hunt Swap journal. I, I've done some work in it on an Art Before Breakfast, I think, or an Art After Dark. I can't remember, but anyway, one of them. And so the premise behind... Oh, oh crud. I don't know where they went. The premise behind this swap is that uh, basically they give us a bait or... um. Yeah, like a base, and then so many items that uh, we need to find and include in the project. And so, um, like in this case, our base is packaging of some kind, and um, then there are five items that have to be included. And so those items this week are um, jute cord or twine, um, a a picture of a lock, um, which I have this one, this one, and I can make my hands work, this one, um, and then dishes, and so I've pulled out some pictures of dishes, and um, an ink splatter, and the twine, the lock picture, the ink splatter, oh, and brass color, which I have these. Um, so yeah, I, I have three partners in this swap, so I'm going to make three projects. I don't know that we're going to have time to do all of them on camera, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. How's that? Alexa, start a one hour timer. One hour, 39. Awesome. I'm going to try really hard not to let this video go beyond an hour. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to use for packaging, but I think I am going to use these three. Ugh, that's terrible. I can't get those to stay anywhere. So it's all right, though. I'm just going to put them right there. Um, I think I'm going to use these three. And what these are, uh, are Dollar Tree sticker packaging. Um, I buy a lot of stickers at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm all about budgeting my crafting supplies. So Dollar Tree is one of those places where I can get things inexpensively. And so I do. All right, I think what I want to do not entirely sure yet is Thank you. I think I want to fold these in half and um, make them into like a pocket so that um, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> I think I want to fold these in half and make them into a pocket. Um, to be used in journals. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's no like rules about what kind of project we need to make as long as it has the items included that um, are on the list. And I feel like um, at least at least one of these I think I'm going to make into a pocket. Um, that said, I'm debating what to do about this, whether to just cover that up or cut it off. Okay. 
put it here and have wouldn't be bad just like that okay let's do this okay so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna use some of this paper I'm not sure which one I want to use um, Maybe this one. I have to wind up getting another one out because I don't know if this will cover everything. But right here on the front. I think that will be okay. All right, so let me get my glue. And I'm not sure which one of those locks is going to work, um, but if I need to print more of one of them, I can obviously do that. I looked. I was trying to just find one that I already had without printing, but the only thing I could find was one pink lock sticker in one of my sticker books. And since I needed three projects, that just wasn't going to quite cut it. I just saw where that says top secret. That would have been perfect in my um, on the case challenge video or um, journals, journal, case book, that thing. Yep. Uh huh. Which, if you are familiar with the on the case challenge, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar, I'm going to drop a video here somewhere. Um, basically, what it is is that um, we have. We're trying to solve a murder, um, and we uh, have created case books. We're, we're acting as the junk journal detectives, and um, we have created case books, and we're following along on this case week by week, uh, getting evidence all the time, and um, you know, meeting suspects and that sort of thing. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's much easier uh, for you to just check it out than for me to try to explain the whole thing. Um, I have been doing videos every Wednesday um, to give more information. And um, I think the detectives are all having a really good time. I hope they are anyway. It seems like they are. And... Uh, I know I have been, so. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna use the back side of that just because if I use the front side, it's gonna be uneven. Of course, I could do this instead. It still doesn't seem right to me, so I think I'm going to do this. It should look just fine. So how is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. 
Um, I hope you're having a good crafty day. I know that uh, I am. I am uh, planning lots of crafting. Um, you know, when I have a chance, that's what I pretty much, you know, want to spend my time doing. I think this can be pretty. Um, let me see. I don't know if I'm going to cover the back. We'll worry about that in a few. Um, just because I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Um, I pro that said, I probably will put something on there. I don't know. Anyway, let's just go ahead with this. Um, so lock. These are large, um, but I could cut them down. It just is not going to show like see, and even that's huge. I, I printed those way too big, I think. Hmm. I mean, of course, I can print smaller ones. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we've got that, which I could use just like that. Um, or we can print a smaller one, which I think is what I'm going to do, because as much as I love that, Okay, these are a much better size, and I just went ahead and printed three of the same one. They're going to three different people, so I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal. I do hate that I wasted all this paper, but I didn't have time to mess with figuring out how to get them to print multiple on one page, so 
um, Anyway, so um, today is Saturday. It is, uh, what day is it? June the 3rd? Yeah, today's the 3rd. Wow. Um, so Saturday, June the 3rd. And um, off work. Yay! My... Uh, husband you know we go every Saturday uh, we go thrift shopping and and stuff um, in the morning and um, we didn't get to last weekend because uh, our thrift shop was closed due to Memorial Day and so that was kind of a letdown you know because like I really look forward to our Saturday shopping well so I was so excited about, you know, going shopping again this weekend. Well, now my husband has to work tomorrow. So um, he'll be out of town. So my son and I are going to go. My um, older son, the, um, I guess, middle son, I guess is how we can look at it. <laughs> Um, he and I are going to go and, uh, you know, maybe my younger son, if he wants to, but he probably won't because he never wants to do anything because he's 17. So that's a good size. I like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, Oh, Jesus, excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to take my mother to lunch. Because she and I have not been able to spend any time together to speak up recently. So, uh, yeah, I was talking with her because I had intended for her to come over this weekend and play games and have lunch. Well, then, um, husband had to work, so, um, I'm going to take her to lunch because I don't like to cook. My husband likes to cook. I don't. So, if he's not going to be here, um, it's easier for me to just take her out for lunch and uh, so that's what we're going to do and then depending on what she wants to do after we will do something So, I think, to think what could I do with these dishes to make them not look weird because I, it, there's nothing I hate more than to just throw something on that doesn't look like it belongs anybody can just throw some pictures on a page right so we want it to look like it belongs there think about that for a minute. 
I'm thinking I might want to back this and then possibly turn it into like a ticket or something. It's a weird shape for a ticket, I know, but um, maybe, maybe I could make a ticket or, or you know what, here's a thought, here's a thought is I'm making a pocket, maybe I can make a tag and top the tag with this. Now that's an idea. I can make even a fold over tag. Here we could have say And we could glue that down and then I can trim around it accordingly. Let's do this. Okay, wait. Um Here. I don't want it about like that. Right there. Okay. And then we only need this piece about right. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And so then what I think I want to do is either to paint or ink this or cover it with some kind of paper, which we could use something very much like what we used here. Um, Goodness knows I have enough of it. Let's see what we got. Or another fun option would be to um, maybe use like envelope. That's always fun. So let's just go ahead and we're going to use, let's use the music paper. Why not? I know it's Christmas, so I don't know. Maybe not. This isn't a Christmas project. Let's just choose this. Sorry if you'll hear me sniffling. I've got the sniffles again. I'm so tired of the sniffles. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this like here. is going to be
We're going to take this piece and cover right here. Again, like I said, I'm going to take this and put it here like that. But I do think I'm going to try to um, ink it a little bit, take some of that gloss off of it. I might even, you know what I might do? I think I'll come in with just a small piece of sewing pattern and cover it. Again, I'm sorry about the sniffles, guys. I wish there was something I could do about it. But I take my allergy medicine and, <coughs> um, yeah, it just is what it is. Okay. So that's kind of muted those dishes quite a bit. Um, but you'll still be able to tell what they are. And the colors won't be quite so bright, which obviously, since I said it muted it, you guys already knew. And plus, you have eyes and you can see that it's mute. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Oh no, she's going to start singing because she's being weird. No, I won't do it, guys. I won't do it this time. Okay. Yeah, see, I think that's nice. Okay, cool. It's also crooked now. Shoot. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, cool. Now let's glue it down.
I'm going to go ahead and cover the back of this because we are going to be, um, it's going to be a tag, so it's going to show. Right side up. I need to remember to make sure I'm putting stuff in my sprinkles box. Um, I had to have this paper. I, had, I, I was using this paper, so I'm going to put two pieces of paper, of the paper from this bag, into my sprinkles box. Let's see, we used packaging, so I think I'll just put these two pieces of packaging into my sprinkles box. And then um, I will have to figure out what to do about like the locks and the um, pictures of the dish dishes I will locate something like that um, I don't know if I'll locate specifically dishes or just magazine images and put in there and um, uh, then I'll do some locks in there But I need to put two of each of those things in my sprinkles box. So, yeah. Okay, so now I was thinking I can, um, you know, for my brass color, I pulled these out. And I can put a hole through there and put these in there. And... Um, That'll kind of hold that down and also give me my brass color. So, I'm going to get my big bite and set it to the small hole. And then try and line this up to be fairly centered. Let's see how wide is this? Like two inch, almost two inches, not quite two inches. So I'm gonna put this like right about there. Came a little further in on than I had intended, but it'll be all right. So then I'm going to slip this right through those dishes. Close up the back. Just like that. And now when I put it in here, it will catch right over that edge and still be closed. And I suppose I, sh you know, I could have covered this in the back where that wouldn't show. Really doesn't bother me. Um, I might, though, since it's going out as a swap, put something over that before I send it. I might do that. All right, so now I still need to put that lock on there. I need some ink splatters. What else do I need? Um, okay, I have the packaging. I have the brass color and the dishes and the lock. 
and the ink splatters. Grass color, dishes, block, ink splatter. What else? What's it? Oh, I forgot. Oh, the jute and twine. Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, actually, you know what I could do? Where is it? Literally just had it, guys. Let me put that there. Oh, there it is. What I could do is maybe... a little bit of it. Uh -huh. what we got going on here. Um Let's see, what do I want to do? I can either wrap some around this and form a little bow, which is what I was thinking about, or come up this way and form a little bit of a thing there. Um, or punch a couple of holes here don't really want to do thinking though that I could do this on. with that one and this one and take these two together this I'm going to hopefully put them through this little hole no I got one through the other one did not go I'll try and add it There we go. Okay. I just pull that up like that. And then I'm going to take this and put it through right there. Close it. And then we can take this and just kind of trim it down. It's not bad at all. Okay. So then I'm thinking for the ink splatters. Here's what I'm thinking. Let me move that because I don't want it to get messed up. Um, I've got... 
this distress stain and the ground espresso that I've been using to do this very thing. Um, and I really like the way it turns out. So I use this old piece of paper here. Okay. I'm going to hit that with the blow dryer. Give me just a sec. All right. Sorry about that. Just wanted to get that good and dry. Now, ooh, I like it. Okay. Um, so now I want to glue this, but I'm also going to take it over there and provided I can get to my sewing machine in this mess, I'm going to um, sew but I'll give the glue a few minutes to dry before I do that anyway. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and ink around it. Oh, I need to add the lock. And I think I want some washing. Um, is that too light colored, do you think? Let's see what else I've got. Um, let's use this one. Now let's use that one. So I'll need to add some of this tape to my sprinkles box as well, which um, I just used the tape that was in my sprinkles box. So that will be good. I can add some. I think it's time for me to order some more of this washi. I use it all the time. And I do not want to run out. So, I've got to place another team in order anyway sometime soon. So I guess got to is a little bit of a weird word for that. It's just that it makes me happy and so if it's you know if coming home to an from a stressful day at work to a team in order makes me happy I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it okay I like that and I was thinking I don't know where I put my my sentiments but I was thinking it might be a good thing to add you know something to it a sentiment of some kind um let's see where i can put them oops Um, I had them this morning already. I just don't know where. Ah, there they are. Okay. Um, hmm. so this is going to go in here. That. I like this one that says collect beautiful moments or find joy in the ordinary. That would be another good one for this. Um, I 
Let's do find joy in the ordinary. Oh, you know what? That will be covered up by the sewing. If I put it there, it's going to be covered by the sewing. Now, maybe I won't sew this one. Or maybe I'll just stitch down the sides. Because the other thing is it might cover up that lock. just stitch down the sides so it wouldn't cover much of the log. Or I could just do a regular sew instead of a zigzag. That's another possibility. I also think I might want a little bit of gesso along the top of this. All right, let's do a little bit of inking. Or should I sew first? If I sew it first, then I can ink over the thread. And sometimes that's better. Let me go sew it. I'll be right back. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to ink it. Um, and I'm just using regular vintage photo for this particular project. which hopefully all of my partners like um, vintage look because I'm all about stitching and inking and I love the vintage look so I'm liking that. Now let's bring this one over here.
Okay. The only thing left for me to do on this one archival I'm going to bring this over and I will stamp it and then just below the stamp going to sign it and mark it with scavenger hunt number 15 I believe this is this week um, This is scavenger hunt number 15. Hit this with the blow dryer real quick. Okay. And that's one ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along with me and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture, and I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.